Well, if you have kids and you're in town this long weekend, there's a good chance your local park is coming in handy. If you visit Withrow Park later today, you might see something unique, a series of dance performances. It's all part of Dusk Dances, a 20-year tradition of taking dance off the stage and putting it onto the grass. Sylvie Bouchard is the festival's director and founder. She joins me now. Good morning. Good morning, David. Uh, to take us back, it's two decades now that this started. Where did the idea come from? Well, actually, the idea um, w- came very simply. I was a dancer, choreographer, younger dancer, choreographer at that point. And uh, there was an event in Toronto called FIDA. It's a French festival for dance. And uh, it's by lottery. So I applied and I didn't get in. So I really wanted to participate and do something. So I thought maybe I can do something somewhere outside than the stage. Um, I lived close to Trinity Bellwoods Park at that point. So I was walking in the park and I thought, why not bring bring dance where people are? Um, so then the idea developed from there. I thought, uh, why not invite different choreographers so that I, I don't do this show by myself. And, uh, so I invited four other choreographers and then I thought, why not use the park so each of us can use a different site, um, and then the idea was born, basically. So Dust Dances is four, five, or six different dance pieces uh, in different locations of a park. And there's a host that brings the audience from, from piece to piece. So the model has grown a lot and developed throughout the years, but it basically stayed pretty much intact from the beginning. So it's been going 20 years now. What do you remember about the first performance? <laughs> well, the first performance actually... Uh, What I remember is that we were just about to begin or the show was going to go on in an hour. And I thought, oh, my God, who's going to come to this? Like, is there really people that are going to come? And the very first show, there was about 150 people, which, you know, for dance performance was, you know, quite a bit for a first show. Now at Whitwell Park, we get audiences of like 800 people a night, which is pretty fabulous. Um, And I also remember the audience's comments, um, which were... A lot. Um, we have kids. It's hard for us to to get out and see shows, so we can enjoy this with our kids. Uh, we love dance. Um, this is in our you know our own backyard, our own neighborhood. Um, so there was a real sense of opening dance to new audiences, um, making dance more accessible. And it was it's an art form that obviously I love. I've been you know committed to this art form for many many years. So there was a desire on on my part to share it and. Uh, it was obvious that this was a great venue, a great avenue to to do just that. Of course, it's outdoors. So what do you do if it rains? What do you do if a kid mm-hmm. runs up and wants mm-hmm. to dance with you? Uh, dogs in parks? Yeah, we've had uh, performances uh, cut off by dogs and uh, we had rainbow behind, uh, behind dance pieces. We had performances that kept going all the way through with slight rain. Um, we have to deal with, of course, what happens in the outdoors. Uh, so, you know, we try to keep the show going as much as we can. Of course, if there's a downpour, uh, we can't because it, uh, it's unsafe. But depending on the pieces, some of them can keep going on, you know, light rain. Um, yeah, but we never make a decision until 7 o'clock. So come and, sh- and check and it show out. show time is what time? Uh, seven o'clock is when the band starts. So we have an opening band, and this year we have Justin Rutledge, uh, who's a Juno Award mm-hmm. this year. So uh, seven to seven thirty, and then the dances start at seven thirty. And this is now going right across the country. Uh, dusk dances. Why do you think it's been so successful? Well, it is a model that uh, that is uh, that is has proven to be very successful. And uh, so we've developed a partnership basically with organizations and different communities who wanted to bring uh, dust dances, you know, to their to their town or city. And uh, what we do is that we bring some of our uh, older works, so pieces that have been done in dust dances before, and then we bring in local uh, artists or local youth, or so we kind of immerse ourselves in the community and and allow uh, local people to participate in the event as well. So we have a local band, uh, yeah, we have a piece with local artists or local kids, and uh, it works fabulously. Fantastic! Thanks very much, Sylvie. You're very welcome. Much-